All right, so, wait a second. Something feels a little different. So here it is. Welcome to my new shop. Everything has been moved in and I'm at a point where I am functional enough to get back to work, which is a very good feeling. So I figured for this video I would give a quick tour of the shop and also talk about some of the details and kind of my thinking about how I have it set up. I would also love to hear some suggestions or ideas on things as I still have a lot of work left to do but we will get to that in a minute. Before we check everything out, here are the overall specs of the space. The shop area is about 20 feet wide by 40 feet long so it's about five feet wider and ten feet longer than my previous shop and my previous shop also had a bathroom in one corner which took up quite a bit of space but it doesn't really sound that much bigger on paper but I can tell you in person it makes a huge difference a huge difference all right let's take a walk So I figured the front door is an obvious place to start, and strangely enough, it is one of my favorite parts about the new place. My old shop's front door opened straight into the office space, and then from there, there was a door into the shop area, which meant I had to leave the door between my shop and the office open most of the time in case someone came to the front door. And that meant that the front office was usually covered in dust and kind of a mess. So with this setup, I can leave the doors between the shop and the office closed and sealed up while still being able to see if anyone is stopping by. All right, from the front door, let's move to the left-hand wall where I have all of my machines. So I decided to have all my machines along one wall, mainly for simplicity of dust collection as well as to simplify my workflow. As you can see, I have one very short run of dust collection that goes to all of my machines and also a cap where I can extend it in the future if needed. This was also the very first thing I set up when I moved in so that I could keep working while organizing the rest of the shop. process for having it organized this way is that the amount of shifting around my shop will be minimized. The process of bringing in new lumber to the shop is similar to my old space where lumber first gets the balance test, then enters my shop, gets cut to rough length, then jointed, planed, and ripped on the table saw. But now, instead of bouncing back and forth to both sides of my assembly table, I can stay on one side and have easy access to all of my machines. Now with that being said, I have this large open space, which I actually really like, but I plan to build another table here, which will allow my current assembly table to stay much more clear and not get in the way of my table saw as much. I also plan to move Greg, my x carve machine, to this new table and give him a much nicer setup. So for this table, as well as lumber storage and whatever I'm gonna do in that corner, 
I'd love to hear some feedback or maybe some ideas. I definitely think for the lumber storage, I wanna do a vertical system as opposed to the horizontal system I had in my old shop and I just wanna kinda of try something new. But that will be down the line in the hopefully not too distant future. Anyway, once I had the machines and dust collection up and running, I focused on making this place look a bit more familiar. There's also a window here that at some point must have looked into the unit next door, but has since been walled up from the other side, as well as this door. So I decided to put my hand tool wall in front of it to cover it up. So that I put my rolling tool chest as well as the cabinet from my old shop. That's probably where they will live for now and we'll see if I eventually move them at some point. I also made this super trick clamp rack. Similar design to the one I had in my old shop. All right, so the last thing to show is the back room, which will be the office slash showroom. And I'll just give you a quick peek because right now it is still a total mess. And one last thing is this mysterious side door. Let's see what's on the other side. I just always wanted to open a door to a room where people are being trained like in James Bond movies. Wicked. Yeah. All right, so that is where I'm at with the shop currently. I still have a ton of work left to do, but it's nice to be moved in and functional. And I'm really excited to get going on some shop improvements and to get this place really dialed in. The other exciting part is that just on the other end of this building, Jonathan Katz Moses has his shop. We have a ton of awesome ideas for the future of this place, and we're looking forward to getting it all going fairly soon. Actually, let's just get Jonathan over here real quick and he can help explain it. All right, Jonathan, so give us the quick rundown. So what we're doing here, we, Sean and I found this building that has a lot of space and we're creating a place for other YouTubers to come and teach classes. And it's gonna be in the form of long form online videos. Uh, there'll be some in-person classes as well. And we'll have the opportunity to basically create a maker space for content creators where we can share our love of teaching with you guys. And I think if you head over to my channel and hopefully subscribe, you'll be able to follow along with that journey. And I think it's gonna be a lot of fun and we're gonna be able to put out a lot of really cool content. And it's really, it's gonna be a good time, so. All right, well, thank you, Jonathan. Uh, I will sound the funnel if I need you again. Awesome, and if I'm not here in 30 seconds, just wait longer. The funnel works like a charm. Also, before I go, this video is being uploaded as I travel to Atlanta for Workbench Con, which I'm really excited about. So if anybody watching is going to be there also, let me know. I'm looking forward to meeting a bunch of people and just having a really good time. I have also been posting quick video updates on my Patreon page somewhat regularly, and I hope to keep doing that. So if you're interested in that, check it out. I'll put a link to that in the description. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed this one. And of course, until next time, if you're ever in a bind and need some maker friends to assemble, go ahead and sound the Maker Call Funnel.